he's just different because I yeah. can imagine people saying to Kubrick, you know, you're not really letting us into Jack as a, a human being. And the Kubrick just said, get away from me. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> yeah. People must have said it to him. Like, uh, we're not, the, the wife is strange. What you're asking Shelly to do, by the way, or her hair is falling out because she can't, she's losing her mind playing this woman. Yeah. Because it's not a person, it's not a human being. Badly. And written, he said, man. and he said, uh, do me a favor, Dorothy. Get the fuck away. Get in the, the other room. Whoever said this to him, he said, just get the fuck away from me. I'm doing this. You go do that in another movie. <laughs> well, I'm going to do And in fact, they did. Stephen King, like, made it again. Who gives a <laughs> shit what Stephen King thinks of The Shining? The was... Shining is not, it has nothing to do with Stephen King, who I think is a really cool writer. It's a whole other category. But Kubrick takes whatever fucking thing. He's like, here's a New York Times magazine uh, uh, this article. I'm gonna make a movie about it, and he just makes it. He decides I'm not doing the thing that you want me to do. I'm not doing a father who changes. I yes. don't. It's boring. It's do done. It's been done a thousand times. So what? It's a very good way to make a movie. Go watch one. There's many. He's like, I'm making the movie from the point of view of the house, <laughs> and from the point of view of The Shining. This is that's the main character is fucking hor horrible strange mysterious knowing too much uh chilling shining shining is the main character jack's not the main character and neither is she uh, she is annoying like you want her to fucking to die uh take get get the hatchet to the head well what do you it's not supposed to be a horror movie well it's not it, there is no prescription that that movie fills you don't get a prescription that you go here and they go oh no we don't have friday the 13th we'll give you the shine it's not it's not a generic for friday like when you go to get prozac and it's really like uh legs a mill or whatever the fuck this is from an abstract point of view of fear the movie's point of view is fear uh or 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 whatever the fuck. i can't put it to words because it's just suggested it's it's who's following the kid when he's in the fucking uh tricycle that's not even from the kid's point of view it's right. from the point of view of this fucking it's present it's, and the fucking and the the poster of the naked lady behind Scatman Crothers. This is <laughs> this is Stanley Kubrick's idea of what a black man's Florida apartment is like. <laughs> I'm so much more interested in his bent ideas than I am in someone who's like, no, no, I'll show you what this would be like, and I'll show and I'll give you these feelings, manufacturing feelings. And by the way, I'm not putting down right. that kind of filmmaking. Some of my favorite movies, Good Goodfellas. A lot of my favorite movies are totally uh reliable structures and you can see how they they work but this he was doing something else i do think that nicholson is is fucked up i think that kubrick thought it was more interesting to make a movie where by the way the whole world is a little strange the fucking doctor who interviews danny after he passes out is weird there and and then her the mother with the fucking cigarette with the ash everyone's weirdly drunk. yeah right it's insane and the fucking guy with the giant hair who interviews him and the way they walk through the place and it's so fucked up there's, I, I there's yeah. barely a difference between the people that actually work in the hotel and floyd and the and fucking you know and the ghosts but that's where the, the, the place is like sucking people in i mean the ghost the fucking the it's the building's point of view the building reaches out to scatman crothers across and, and makes him come from all the way from florida that's not your basic uh horror movie stuff his movies are not about human he's not beings. a humanist They're about yeah. ideas yes exactly. even barry linden which is named after a guy it's not about barry linden it's a strange movie about human failure and the loser and like the loathsomeness of human beings there is a stilted ugly feeling in that room that is familiar to my generation in terms of uh domestic uh dialogue there is a fucking distance and an ugliness that i feel the other thing about nicholson in this movie is that he ch this movie was just so iconic in his his um uh acting that in that character that he created that he messed up the rest of history the the future for itself it's a movie that you saw when it came out and you're like what is this is crazy the way he's acting that was the feeling in the 70s of uh, couples that were a little bit strangers to each other and men that were uh a little dangerous it's coming from somebody's gut who has was a little bit not not saying. <laughs>